Hey you guys, 1221 year here today, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this in Photoshop. The first step is, is to go to File, New, 800 by 800, make sure you have this checked as custom, press OK. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is search up Photoshop Clouds in Google, and then um, we scroll. I usually scroll down to this one should be all right and then I grab this one copy image go back to Photoshop control V control T to free transform and then we hold down shift and stretch this out okay so now that we have our our clouds as our background image we then need to make a new layer with this button down here drag it underneath Grab the color wheel. I'm gonna make this maybe like a. We, we're gonna be changing the colors later on, so it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna make this like a dark purple, maybe. All right. You can Alt Backspace, and that will color this layer in, so it'll look like that. Now on this layer, we're gonna go to Filter, Stylize, Wind. We're going to click on stagger from the right, click OK. What we can do is we can press filter, wind again, and that will duplicate the last, the last filter that we did, which will make it look better. Now all we have to do is press, is make, is make this overlay. That'll now look like that. Then we can press Control J, and that'll make that look a lot better. Now, now we just go filter, stylize, find edges, and then that'll look weird, guys. It looks weird like that. Just press Control I, and that will make it like that. And then make it maybe a light, and then color dodge. That should work. And then, and then all we need to do from here is make a new layer again, get a paintbrush, make it white so we can move that back, press that arrow, we can, I need to turn my opacity all the way up to 100, and all the spaces that are dark color it in white, make another layer, and all the spaces that are that you didn't press make them dark and then all we need to do is go overlay and the same thing for here overlay and let's turn down the opacity a little bit that should be good and then press control on both of those and then press control E and that will merge the layers then go back to overlay and do the same thing again. Okay, so now that we have a pretty good looking background, we can now just hover over all these with control and then press control G and that'll put it in a group and that should be good. We're going to add a hue of brightness and contrast. Usually auto works quite well. You can mess around with it quite a bit. So maybe just press auto. Adjust it a little bit. That looks good. And then I'm going to go to hue and saturation. Colorize. Turn my saturation up. And I'm going to change this. It's a bit more of a red. Turn that up a little bit. Maybe make it a bit more. Yep, that, that, that looks good for me. So now, on here, we can just add whatever image we like. So um, if you have a normal YouTube logo, you can just pop it on that. You can add a photo like that. Or we can keep going and make the good Fortnite logo 
So we're gonna search up white circle PNG and we are go I'm gonna go for uh, this one here, this one here, it's nice and skinny. So then we just click control V to paste and then we're just gonna grab the magic wand tool and just start pressing in all the black areas, pressing delete or backspace where we go, then press control D to deselect. Then we're gonna stretch this out, make it nice and even. So, I'm gonna need to move that over a little bit. I might actually make this a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. Now we're just gonna go back onto Google, go onto a website called fnbr.co. Then we're gonna go to, you can grab any, any skin you want. So if you go to list up here, You can search any skin you want or find any skin you want. So I'm going to use the bullseye skin. Control. Just press right click copy image. Control V. Then we're going to make it smaller. But you don't want to make it too small because otherwise it will resize the image. So make it around about the same size as what, that, what the picture is. And we're just going to grab our magic wand tool. Actually, no, we're going to grab our quick selection tool. And we are going to go all around that. Until it is transparent. I'll be back with you guys when I have finished. So guys, that looks pretty good if you ask me. So just press Control T. So we're going to stretch it out. Move it to about... Rotate it a little bit. Move it to about there. Okay, that should be good. Now, just grab our text tool. I'm using the font Burbank Big Condensed, which which you can grab, which is the Fortnite font, which you can grab if you just search up Burbank font, and you find, and something like that should be fine. You can probably just download it from there. Be careful not to download a virus or anything. Alright, back back to here. We are going to grab our text tool, click on it. I'm gonna hit caps lock on our keyboard, and we are going to type your name. So I'm gonna put your I'll, I'm gonna have this as a template afterwards so you guys can use it your here let's make it white and we're gonna go here and write name Drag that underneath. So your will be bigger. Now I'm going to go blending options. Right click blending options. We're going to add a gradient overlay. We're going to make this to about 22%. Add a drop shadow. 100. Distance 0. Actually no. Don't forget the drop shadow guys. We're just going to go the easy way. And go for a stroke. 
then I'm gonna add bevel and and emboss now this is very you might not like this or you might like this it's up to you if you want to use it or not I'm just gonna turn the size down a little bit soften it lower the depth to about three or maybe five maybe even ten and add some contour and there you go so that looks good already we're gonna I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller so it, just so it doesn't look too too large and then we're gonna grab then we're gonna copy layer style paste layer style on name except with name we're gonna change the go back to our text tool change the color so maybe a nice yellow should be good and that looks a lot better now if we make these both a little bit smaller there we go okay and now there's you might be happy with that you might not be but what you can do is right click on your your skin go to color overlay make it white and then we're gonna make that make it so it's nice and bright and it stands out a lot better then we're going to go over to our circle that we did at the start add a tiny stroke of about six and that should be good to go thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in another video Bye. Dude, boy.